This is Joseph Coco. I'm at TCAF 2015 on behalf of Becca Hilburn's Art Process Blog, Keep on Trucking Nato Soup. If you could introduce yourself, Jade. Uh, my name is Jade. Uh, that's me. I am a cartoonist from Washington, D.C. This is my first time at TCAF. Okay. Um, and what brings you to TCAF? Exhibition. <laughs> um, I guess I have a, I have a few books. Um, I have uh, Lacromancer, which debuted at Small Press Expo, uh, last Small Press Expo, yeah. and um, it is, uh, the central part of it is a cento, which is a poem where each line is taken from another poem, or in this case, I took it from a lot of magical girl anime that I liked, and also <laughs> music and films, and it's about two young gods who fall in love, aspire to create a perfect world, and it doesn't end up that way. The other uh, bulk of my work it deals with kind of food and autobiographical stories. Um, a lot of it is centered around dumpling making because that's what my family takes rather seriously. And I hope to actually segue that into a webcomic that talks more about uh, the food that my family makes and also the stories uh, kind of involved with that. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Becca and I are from Louisiana, so we have a lot of stories revolving around food and how that brings families together. So that's definitely something that attracted me to your work. Um, what was kind of the... Uh, what led to the idea of creating comics uh, about food, or specifically um, dumplings? Actually, it came from kind of a, uh, a personal, practical thing, because um, a lot of, you know, it's always been a concern of mine that, like, oh, I go home and I eat the food that my family makes, and I really wanted to learn this, and they're getting older. Uh, my grandmother's 92, yeah. and my uncle is getting up there in age, too, and he's had two heart attacks. So wow. I felt like, you know, a part of me feels like this is something that I have to learn. I have to like, you know, hang out with them more and kind of uh, take on this tradition or else I might not have the chance to. So comics was kind of my way of kind of motivating myself to express that and also, you know, combines actually spending time with my family, which, yeah. um, you know, in this day and age, a lot of times we talk about that, uh, spending more time with our family, well, we really should do that, but we never get around to it until it's too late. And, I guess right. I'm just a little worried. So the comics you know, is that. a way yeah. where you can Bridges not only cap. catalog uh, mm -hmm. having those things, but making sure you know all the knowledge that your family has before. Right. And yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's no way that I can know everything, but um, and that was also kind of a point of concern for me. It's like, what if I don't make it exactly the right way as my family members make it? But it's also <laughs> my experience, too. And I've come to also kind of accept that, that this will be my experience of their traditions yeah. um, and that's actually something that an upcoming um, comic of mine will explore that process of me trying to perfect my dumpling making because I always kind of hold my uncle's dumpling making standards in high esteem and it's kind of coming to terms with that so okay and I s initially saw your work in the um, the food zine which came out yesterday correct the comfort food zine yeah yes. comfort food zine I'm sorry um, you had uh, eight pages in that. How did you um, go into that? I met the editor upstairs. Right. Was it Amy? Lauren Jordan. Lauren, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I met a lot of people yesterday, so. Yeah, that's uh, right. Got a few names confused, I guess. But um, what was your experience in getting into that zine? Was that something you, you knew Lauren beforehand? So, I did not know Lauren beforehand, actually. But okay. I did like her work because um, as I really, I follow a good amount of food artists. Or, um, comic book illustrators who also make um, their work kind of really uh, involved with food. Lucy Nisley is you know, the, a big one. Um, yeah. So I think Lauren Jordan had another zine uh, project a little while back that was just more general called the food zine. Um, and I remember seeing that at some point and re getting really bummed out that I missed it and <laughs> you know, missed uh, being part of it, missed buying it. So yeah. this time when I saw on her Tumblr, it was like, oh, open sub submissions open for a comfort food scene. I was like, must do. <laughs> so And actually, it was something that I think I made a really fast decision that I have to like submit to this. Because at the time, too, I also had a lot of projects going on. So it wasn't necessarily the best time decision. But it was something that was so important to me that I, you know, made it happen. So, right. Yeah. So I know that in Japan, uh, a lot of food-based manga is, is pretty popular over there. And a few of those have been brought to the U.S. through Viz Media. Yeah. Um, but do you find that in America, that is an untapped market and people are looking for that sort of thing? Or are there enough food comics out there, would you say? 
I don't think there's such a thing as there's enough. We shouldn't yeah. make any more. Because there's so, food is such a personal uh, yeah. and also broad uh, subject to a lot of people. Like a lot of people have very uh, strong feelings about food and you know what kind of foods we should be eating. A lot of people also have strong cultural ties to food. And um, so, you know, that's like also saying it's like, oh, do we have enough stories about people of different cultures? We never do, because there's always more stories to be told. Um, and particularly one that's not from a Western perspective, particularly. Right. Obviously, like, yeah, I'm Asian American, Taiwanese American. Um, and like, you know, even my parents, they, you know, they immigrated here, their parents, um, you know, immigrate from China to Taiwan. So um, there's a lot of these branches of different uh, travel stories that come with the food that your family brings too. And everyone's, even though, let's say you have a lot of artists who made draw food stories from the deep south, everyone's experience will be kind of different too. So, you know, I don't think there's ever enough. <laughs> saying. And I would always, I always welcome more. Okay, yeah. and you brought with you, uh, yeah. what was it, Wolf? Yes, yeah. this is just a tiny little eight-page mini that um, I made with my students at work, actually, because I taught them how to make the uh, mini scene. It's a great project for teachers, because okay. minimal um, materials. And they asked me to draw dogs, so I decided to draw some funny dogs. <laughs> um, and the funniest one, I guess they were like, oh, you should do a good dog and bad dog, and the bad dog should be a robber dog, but I drew a cat. And a lot of my students... Uh, Thought, felt the need to point out to me that cats are not dogs, um, and I said, "Well, that is a, <laughs> right." I was like, "That's why it's funny. <laughs> it's a joke." <laughs> so, and it's adorable. Okay, and can you tell me a little bit about your experience with TCAF? Have you been to other similar conventions? Uh, I've been to Small Press Expo. Okay. Uh, I guess this is my most common show that I go to, and it's a similar vibe to TCAP. This is my first year at TCAP, um, and I'm like you know pleasantly, um, you know, I feel at home, even though it's my first time. Yeah. Uh, so Small Press Expo. But you're not you're not from the Toronto area, correct? No, from I'm from Washington D.C. So Small Press right. Expo is definitely much yeah, more much my local closer. show. Right. It's uh, in Bethesda, Maryland, and I am from Gainesburg, Rockville, Maryland area. So that's like five ten minutes away. Oh wow. So, yeah. yeah, it's very convenient because hotels for SBX can be a little pricey. So. Oh yeah, so yeah, I just you know <laughs> walk out of my room, <laughs> my home door. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, and then um, I went to Mocha once. Um, yeah, like before the Society of Illustrators uh, right. took charge of that. Um, so that was also a kind of similar show, though. I think that TCAF, the venue certainly is very impressive. Yeah, yeah. compared. I Mocha has been in yeah. a. Uh, Military bunker? No, it's, it's like not a, a bunker. It is, a, it is kind of a bunker. It's an armory, I guess. <laughs> yes, it's an, an armory, armory for many like, years. Yeah, oh, that's a com that was converted to a community center. And then I did not go to their new venue, so I heard that a lot of people liked it, and the building's being turned into condominiums, so next year they're going to have to find somewhere else. Yeah, <laughs> so. Um, I think, so from what I hear though, like TCAP has been at the same place for a very long time, and I think that's wonderful. Right. That's the library is beautiful. Yeah, it has huge. such a strong tie to yeah. the library that it wouldn't necessarily make sense to hold it somewhere right. else. And yeah. it seems this place is huge. There's, the there's always yeah. more space. Right. Yeah. Uh, that being said, there are quite a few people here, mm -hmm. and um, sometimes you can have some trouble getting around. Have you found that uh, it's been because you're right in the center right. on the main floor, or I shouldn't say the main floor on the ground floor? Right. Um, have you found that people have been able to uh, actually see your table and get to oh, your yeah. things if they're interested? Um, or are a lot of people just walking by because there's a wall of people in front of your table who may or may not be shopping? <laughs> well, it's a, it's a mix of both, I think. I mean, I think that um, I actually think my location is pretty good because yeah. um, it, it may seem odd because uh, my table mate and I, Helen Joe and I, are, um, are kind of just sandwiched between a lot of publishers. So we're the, you know, like the island of uh, individual creators, whereas most individual creators are upstairs. So, right. but I also think that's kind of good because a lot of people are passing, be going through and not expecting to see individual artists. And like, oh, hey, individual artists take time yeah. to look at They're stuff. mostly seeing hard band or perfect band books, but you have quite a few yeah. uh, staple bands. And I band. did, funny enough, I did hear a few people go by and say things like, you know, there's so many books here. Where are all the zines? people I want to see more handmade stuff so yeah, just point upstairs <laughs> like, point upstairs or be like hey yeah <laughs> so, look, look right in yeah. front of you 
So, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it got hot, certainly. Um, yeah. And I was surprised when I managed to go upstairs how much cooler it was because they were sitting, they had uh, much more kind of like AC vents directed at them. So, but other than that, you know, it's been manageable. Um, it's been overwhelming, so I can't say that like, oh, it's been a detriment. So, um, overwhelming, but in a good way. Okay, where could we find your work online? Um, I am Dumpling Heart on Twitter and Tumblr. Um, you can also look up the URL w jfengli.com, which directs my t uh, Tumblr right now, but I'm working on a site. Awesome. And then dumplingheart.com will be the URL featuring my upcoming webcomic. Okay. And uh, finally, would you have any advice to an independent artist who is planning on attending or tabling at TCAP for the first time? Um, Much like yeah. yourself, but yeah. this is second day, so um, there has to be some lessons. Yes. Uh, don't bite off more than you can chew, and it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, because I was definitely a, fretting. You have a half table, correct? I do. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so at half table, is, it's enough, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I definitely had some very ambitious plans for TCAP, and it didn't all pan out, but I still I still had a great time, so that's all right. <laughs> it's all right if you don't get everything. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you, Jada. I hope you have a good TCAP. You too.